Hi guys, Trump McGay here playing Dawn of War The Dark Crusade. And this is the Warhammer 40k franchise. And so now I'm still on turn two or so. And uh, something I point out look over here at special abilities. Requires control of Ares Badlands. Gain control of the relic of the Chaos God Corn. Allows the controlling faction to launch two attacks per turn. You may attack a second time in the turn in which you take over the Ares Badlands. Well, that's funny, because I just took over the Ares Badlands. So, we're going to go ahead and launch an attack. I'm going to do it on the Pavonian Heartland, which will get me <coughs> a second Regimental Bodyguard. And worth mentioning, I haven't quite cashed in my first Regimental Bodyguard. Uh, so this one will be uh, fairly tough. Uh, we're looking for Necron enemies here. Um, Necron as a faction have very, very slow moving melee units and Necron lords, which are all sorts of nasty. So, yeah, this could be tough. But we'll be playing towards the strengths of the guardsmen. And not their weaknesses. I made him pop it the wrong side. And just gonna be building up a rather standard army pretty fast. And I'm gonna go with double power opener. I can get a lot of resources very easily. And just gonna spread my boys around. I'm only getting six. Or sorry, three squads to start. Six supply. And this one squad will be going south. I right clicked over here. So I want him picking up those southern squads. Uh, now with this game, one thing about it is that uh, there is an ability <coughs> to... Um, You start off with units <coughs> and that's what those upgrades are like when you get the regimental bodyguards and stuff like that you're getting basically free squads there that's worth note because um, it means that I'm in a high-risk situation right now and that's gonna make it just inherently more difficult so I'm getting the infantry command, which will allow me to get uh, the commissar, who are uh, a special unit, support unit, that will allow me to um, rock the enemy's world as is. I was going to get a listing post here, just to get some more value out of what we have here. And because um, each one of these points individually will give me plus six, putting on a um, one of these guys. Uh, we'll, inc <clears throat> we'll increase that amount that I'll be getting. And I have this guy in the south, just casually getting all these over here. I have a cat who is very mischievous. His name is Charles. I named him after the prince. Yes, the old man. That's who I named him after. Now... I'm not, <coughs> not in a particularly great position to um, take the enemy on head on, so I'll be holding a lot of my forces back. Get another one of these guys out. And these guys have a cool ability. Um, where is he? Called Execute. And it allows you to execute one of my own units. And increased damage, but I need battle command for that. Which is not cheap. And so this with the upgrade is now plus 12. Where do you need me? So definitely worthwhile. Will be my duty to serve. These guys must be done, yes. Okay. So I'll get these guardsmen back. Now I'm going to need a tactica command. Of course, the strength of the Guardsmen is in their ridiculous high numbers. And here is our first guy. Looks like he's going to retreat. I'm not going to pursue him. Okay, 
Capturing it was easy. Holding it will be hard. Fear what is your loyalty? So my strategy is to uh, uh, sit on this base with my lovely old uh, fortification here. Uh, build up a lot of forces and uh, I have to push him out of course. That's a needs to be done. And we'll get the hardened armor. And I think I might need to get some kind of other defenses in my base here. By the Emperor, it will be done. You have the honor of serving the only take me and I'll get a very defensive structure inside my base. To help defend against these pushes. Now these Necrons are very, very tanky uh, compared to compared to others. And and my guys are not, not so tanky. And this Necron Lord is taking a lot of damage because I have the uh, Commissar added in here. But, uh... Strip the soul of these guys. I have only one melee guy. I have to keep all my damage on the Necron Lord here. This might be a worthless. It looks like he's already phasing out, allowing him to avoid some damage. I'm gonna get the second school up so I can get even more of these dudes. Out of my oh my lord is gone. So we need to get another one of those, and he's getting closer to dead. He is rightfully so a very, very, very difficult guy to kill. The commissaries help a ton, though. And it looks like we have some flayed ones, which are a melee unit. So we just gotta kite a lot of them down. Cannot be a melee range of these guys. They are too tough. And I'm just gonna keep my guy active. Okay, looks like I wiped out all the flayed ones. Okay, so now I've unlocked the psychers, which I'll be building two of those. Um, Oh, he's back up again. And so this Necron Lord will actually just stand up all the time. It can get pretty obnoxious sometimes. I'm going to put another power source down, just to keep my money active as is. Let's strip his soul. Looks like my actual commander is in trouble. And that puts him down. Eventually he won't be so tough. He, he's just really tough right now because... Um, I need more requisition it seems. Okay, so I can get this guy over this way now. And like, they're... Their warriors now don't have a joy a chance because all my soldiers are just very powerful right now. Great in numbers. Victory is assured. Oh, do need to get another squad out so I can make use of my uh, extra psyker. My cat's being very mischievous. And sooner rather than later, he'll run out of uh, things to toss at me. In the meantime, let's upgrade our guy here. My one poor little psyker by himself. Mix our psyker in with a squad.
Jeez, he's almost destroyed that infantry command. He might actually get the infantry command. <coughs> Maybe not. Okay, that's another requisition point gained. Now the big holdout, of course, is going to be for um, getting that all-important mecha bay, because we have really powerful tanks. It's almost some of the most powerful in the game. Trying to... Let me just select my builder this method. Um, so let's quickly build another listening post. See, now that I have upgrade to a battle command, I have execute, which is very powerful. I'll be doing a lot of damage with that. Okay, so that's been captured. <clears throat> now, if I was to capture all the relics on all the corners of the map, which is basically impossible, but if I was... I would gain a uh, little advantage. Actually, get the second commissar instead of a. And it looks like we have our tomb spiders have shown up, so I'm going to uh, change this into a rocket one. And I'm going to need to get out a weapons team. Oh, pop full shoot. Okay, cancel that for now. Almost done that listening post. I should have a Cult of the Machine Spirit, or Curse of Machine Spirit, sorry. And this will actually stun him, so he'll take a little more damage. I think he's Lightning Arc on this guy. Okay, so this is built. I can build an actual mechanized command. Looks like we've begun our offensive. Taking out one of these points they've captured. Uh, so after I get this mechanized command Bill, actually maybe before I should get this upgrade at least. Build another tempest a tech priest engineer. <clears throat> so my intention is to put down another um, big turret here. Keep this guy at bay, this Necron Lord. If I can just keep him in the base, I uh, won't be able to leave my base, he'll be stuck there, I'll have him forever, and I'll be able to actually push out uh, yeah, from a position of strength. So I'm building the Mecha Bay already. What I'll need now is another infantry command. So I can increase the supply of my infantry. Okay, we capture that. So now I'm going to try and capture this guy here. They place an obelisk on it, which is a. Neato men are doing things. Um, oh, I can probably get some upgrades now. This one, um, propaganda campaign occasion, men, the importance of this campaign. Further increase morale of guardsmen. Very important for their squads. I, I don't know if that's actually valuable or not, actually. So we're going to get the Sentinels. Um, because a lot of very heavy damage units here. And 
And the reason why I'm getting these heavy weapons teams is because they can be upgraded to have a last cannon on them. Uh, worth mentioning, there is no major uh, generators on this map. None at all. So the only generators you can use are actually the one those crappy ones. And so there'll be an immediate need to max those out. So let's get out of Sentinel. Once I have that Sentinel, I'll be making a pretty major push. Uh, these guys have been making a very minor push, but that'll be changing. Uh, I'm going to get them a Psyker as well and upgrade to the Ministerium to get the other building going. Might as well get this upgrade. No, can't afford it actually. It needs more power. So, looks like that's all maxed out. Um. Might as well get one guy on listing posts. Right, here comes a large number of pariahs. And let's get that upgrade. Go get two more of these guys. And looks like this one has been recaptured by them. So I'm gonna go and grab that. Um, one thing with these Necron units is that they are potentially particularly weak uh, in terms of their economy. They're very uneconomical. Here's their builders, by the way. A lot bulkier of builders compared to what I would get. That's for certain. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. And take this guy with me. I mean, I have a lot there already, so. Oh boy. Now we are going for the throat. They're either I say they're in the north here probably. Wow, those guys actually just melee down my very powerful dudes here. I'm gonna put some over here as well. I'm particularly well scattered at this location. Upgrading to phase three here. Where is his will needed? Oh, hello. Lots of gauss turrets here. Gauss turrets. Ah, oh, he died. Is that a best you got? Victory is a sure. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get past this. Move forward a little bit. My mind bears a great pain. 
And we can have this guy attacking from the south now. Okay, I mean, pull this guy out. <coughs> Summoning core. Hmm. But work faster. Get this guy a little bit closer. Now our big target is going to be the Necron Monolith. That dies, we win. There's another Gauss turret. Get our boys closer in. Okay, and got police guardsmen that have come back, run away from the Necron Lord. Looks like the remainder of their forces have finally caught up. Ooh, I can get these guys, and these guys. They're quite powerful units. I'll buy their lonesome. Okay. Really, I just have to hold this. Actually, need more infantry command. I can go and build another listening post. Upgrade this one. And kind of wheel these guys around a bit. Oh, we got this guy in melee range when he shouldn't be. Oh, Commissar, did you just whip that guy's face in? Now, these guys here, limit of one squad. So, yeah, pretty limited use there. Alright, so apparently I destroyed the enemy uh, HQ. Um... And that earns me the uh, Regimental Bodyguard, yay! Didn't make any major achievements in terms of, uh, of killing efficiently, that just did not happen. That's actually very hard to do with this particular squad. Um, so yeah, the map is looking pretty good so far. I've cut into a lot of the uh, Necron territory. Um, and now, finally, I will end the turn. Looks like the Elder are able to push back the Space Marines into their own territory. The Tau push back the Elder. And uh, neither the Orcs nor the Necrons have made a move. Uh, so my next big move will be to cut into uh, this territory here. And this one. I own this, 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 this. If Four territories in three turns. That's not too shabby. Um, yes, yeah, so my next move will be, in fact, to cut into uh, this one, which gives me increased manpower to start off. It gives me a higher amount of forces I can start with. And then this one's only a one-pointer, and it gets me a sentinel. That's pretty darn good. Um, what else is there to grab here? That's not that great, actually. 
Oh, you know what? I can get this one here. Maybe. Yeah, I can grab this one. So I'll go across here, grab this place, move back, go here, grab this, then grab him. All easy does it. And a lot of these guys won't leave their main base when they're when they're under siege because um, they can just jump in and grab their main base, which you know has some amount of defenses on it, but uh, yeah, not a ton. This one only has two builder scarabs. I mean, that can be compared to um, see this place here that has uh, a machine gun and a extra man here. So, okay, uh, so I'll do the plays here to get me in position since I can move so darn much. And uh, let's see what, what happens now. Uh, so it looks like the, the uh, Elder have been beaten by the Tau. Tau are trying to take a territory or move to a territory. Looks like they're able to take a Chaos or Space Marine territory. And so it looks like the Tau are actually the, the leaders so far. Uh, so I'm gonna have to crush the Orcs pretty darn fast. Uh, but that's it for me for now. I will be back uh, tomorrow with more uh, Dawn of War, the Dark Crusade, and I hope to complete this. Yeah, I hope to complete this. So I'll see you guys then.